Welcome to Helmut Fischer. Today we will show you how to quickly and easily put your DMP coating thickness device into operation. You have chosen a model of our measuring device family, DMP, and made a very good choice. The DMP devices come with numerous new features and offer state-of-the-art design, all aluminum housing with IP64, standard soft bumper against drops, scratch resistant and chemical resistant Gorilla Glass, replaceable and quickly rechargeable battery, or even the simplest data transfer via USB-C, and for the DMP30 and 40 models, also conveniently via Bluetooth. All models have the same easy-to-use user interface and are equipped with the Physic T software, the most advanced software in tactile layer thickness measurement. The Delta Scope version can be used to measure non-magnetic layers on magnetizable base materials such as zinc, chrome, varnish, paint on steel or iron. The Esoscope model enables measurements of electrically non-conductive coatings on non-magnetic electrically conductive base materials such as paint, varnish, plastic on aluminum or copper. The Dual Scope device version can be used for all these applications. In this video, we will explain how our DMP devices work using a dual scope as an example. All devices are available in the DMP 1040 versions. Measuring has never been so easy. In just a few steps, you get 100% certainty. Now we will show you how to start up your measuring device step by step and be ready to use right away. Open the device case and take out the device. Place the battery in the battery compartment of the device. The high-quality and rechargeable lithium-ion battery can be quickly replaced and allows you to measure continuously for more than 24 hours, making it both economical and durable. In the next step, the probe is connected to the device. All DMP devices are available with the new digital probes from Fisher, which offer outstanding accuracy, maximum repeatability, as well as smart and future-proof connectivity via USB-C and Bluetooth. Analog probes can also still be used with all devices in the DMP series. Simply use the additionally available F adapter and connect your analog probe to your device. This allows you to use the full power of analog Fisher probes with your new DMP device and benefit from the largest probe portfolio on the market. Once you have inserted the battery and connected the probe, the measuring device can be switched on. To do this, press the multifunction button with the printed on on off symbol. The graphic display lights up. To start measuring you must first start the measuring task, known as a batch. Click on Batches and create a new batch. To calibrate your DMP device, create a new calibration. Place the probe on the uncoated original part. Repeat the measurement at least five times to obtain reliable results. After each measurement, lift the probe at least three centimeters away from the test part before recording the next measurement value. After the last measurement value, confirm the measurements with OK. Click on the up arrow key to set the target value of the calibration foil. Then place the calibration foil on the uncoated test part and perform at least five measurements again. Then confirm with two times on OK. For a two-point calibration, a second foil can be measured. For a one-point calibration, this is not necessary so that the calibration can be completed with the right arrow key. Confirm one last time with OK and the calibration has been successfully completed. In the next step, check the calibration by measuring on the coded test piece. You get the maximum security of your measuring results by our Cali check function. This checks your currently used calibration quickly and at any time. The measuring device is set up and calibrated so you can start taking measurements. If the DMP device is connected to the Intuitive Physic T software when switched on, the device and probe are automatically recognized and can be selected. To do this, insert the Bluetooth dongle into your DMP device and connect it to the PC. The DMP device is immediately displayed in the Physic T software.
The DMP models 30 and 40 have a measurement value memory of 250,000 in 2,500 batches. To separate your measured measurements, it may be useful to name the batches according to your preferences. To do this, simply select the batch you want to edit in the PhysicT software and click on the Edit icon in the upper right corner under Batch Properties. A new window will open and the batch name can be edited. In the same window you can also adjust the upper and lower tolerance limits. To do this, activate and enter the desired limits and click on Save. The changes entered into the DMP device in real time. You can also change the tolerance limits directly on the measuring device. Tolerance limits are now entered on the device and in the PhysicT software, get full support during measurement with the multi-sensory live feedback, LED lights, sound and vibration in the device versions 30 and 40, indicate whether measured values are within tolerance. The red warnings are also displayed in the PhysicT software. Of course, live feedback can be individual switched on and off. Measurement values can be deleted by clicking on the left arrow button. The measurement units can also be changed. To do this, go to Measuring Units in the menu and change the unit as required. In the menu, you can return to your batch and continue your measurements by pressing the back arrow key and clicking on the measure icon. Transferring the measured values from your DMP device to PhysicT software is child's play. If the device is already connected to the software during measurement, the transfer takes place in real time. If the DMP device is connected to the software afterwards, the data is transferred immediately after the device is recognized. Once the desired number of measurements has been generated, the data can be transferred immediately or after measurement directly to Excel or other file formats, easily and conveniently via USB-C and Bluetooth. You can even insert the data into an already created Excel document as well as choose between simple and advanced mode to gain even deeper insights into the acquired data. You also have the option of uploading your own images, such as product images or company logos for individual batches. To do this, upload your desired image as shown and write a comment if you wish. The image and comment will now be displayed in the menu for the corresponding batch. Now you can create the report. Click on Create Report and select the desired storage location. A file containing all the important information about your batch is created in no time. Your individual picture and comment, information about the measuring device and general settings are also displayed. The robust and modern DMP devices are the optimal solution for fast, simple and precise coating thickness measurements. In combination with the digital probes and the new powerful PhysicT software, you are perfectly equipped for any measurement requirement. The menu navigation is intuitive and easy to understand. If you still have questions, you can find further information in our operating instructions or contact our application specialists. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on LinkedIn.